there is a truth. We believe in truth. We believe that there's a right and a wrong. Judaism actually believes there's a right way to live and a wrong way to live. There's a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things. There's a right way to judge and the wrong way to judge. We believe in truth. I'm going to give you an example. I don't want to get carried away. I'm just going to give you an example. I, I'm a second generation American. My father was born in Russia. So I was brainwashed by an immigrant. So I love America. America's a pretty crazy place. And a lot of people say not only America's crazy, it's also stupid. But everybody wants in the world would love to live in this stupid, crazy place if they could. Why? <laughs> First of all, the richest country in the history of mankind. We're very, very, very rich. But there's other reasons. We have a four-letter word which is kind of important in our civilization. It's called free. And it's a big deal. Those of us who were born here don't appreciate what it is. But we're living in America in the year 2023, and we have a lot of people, a lot of people. So some people say that this is a conspiracy and they're trying to control us because I'm a brainwashed second generation American. I'm very, very, I have a very positive outlook at the craziest Americans. There are people in America who have a belief that you have to protect the right of the individual. You have to protect the right. Every individual person needs to be protected. If I decide tomorrow that I'm a goat, if you do not agree and accept with me that I'm a goat, you're offensive, you're a bad person, and you have to be canceled, as they say in the culture. I learned this from you guys. And not exactly, I'm not in this generation. How, what, how dare you tell me I'm not a goat? Excuse me, I'm whatever I feel. Right? This is our culture. Now that's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> and it's certainly crazy. But what's the root of it? You know what the reason in America, if you're a goat, I have to accept it? Because they want me to be nice. That's the root of it. You want to be a goat, who am I to stop you? It's rooted in kindness. I believe, I really believe it. I believe that the mishigas in this country about any person, the, the cruelty, the, the line where it goes to being kind to cruel, is when they try to convince children that they're messed up because they need them to be messed up so that they, that they should be nice. You have to be so nice. Not if the kid grows up and decides he's a goat, you say he's a goat. So maybe you're a goat. How do you know? Maybe you're a goat. Maybe, maybe think about it. You're only six, but maybe you're a chicken. How do you know? Don't decide you're a boy. We're confusing kids. To me, that's cruel. But they believe that they're actually being really nice. Why are they wrong? If you accept my premise, and I, I, I really believe this, I, I don't believe, and there are nuts, but I believe that by and large, Americans are stupid and crazy. They have this obsession with being righteous. Americans want to be good. And if you decide that you're a goat, I want to be good to you, so that makes you happy. But then you make all kinds of laws about everybody else. You have, you have to force everybody else to accept that he's a goat, because the goodness has to go out. Why is it wrong, guys? Why is it wrong, a be title, to say, if you want to be a goat, I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you a hug and a kiss and call you a goat. I'll give you food in a trough. I'll give you water in a bowl. And you can use this, the base medish as your bathroom. I don't want to interfere with your goatness. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? There's only one reason. Only one reason. If you don't believe in the truth, if you don't believe in the Torah, you really don't know where the line is. How kind is good? And how kind is bad? People are saying people hurt each other all the time. I don't want to ever hurt any person. If I don't want to ever hurt any person, I have to love every person, however they want to be. Now, what people don't realize is that when you're doing that, all the people who are not crazy are being hurt indirectly by your position. But the only reason it's wrong is because Peter says, this is not true. This is not true. If you don't have emis, you can believe anything. You can embrace anything. We have emis. Yiddish it's true. Emis. The problem with our civilization is that we've killed God. We've thrown him out of the public school. He's a bad idea. Listen carefully now. When it's dark, it's night. And the night and the darkness mean spiritually when I'm not so smart, when I'm not so sophisticated. Emes has a sister word. What's Emes sister word? Ve'emunah. The truth which is absolute, 
I believe. 